Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC, and we're back with the uh, lunchbox slash uh, Rolling Thunder build. I'm doing two bodies for this if you're new to the series. Um, one I'm doing as the classic yellow Tamiya lunchbox, the other one I'm doing as Rolling Thunder, the uh, 1972 Dodge Tradesman van that uh, Jim Oldacre had in the 80s and uh, ran as uh, in the monster truck circuit and uh, anyway so uh, last episode we finished up the rear and got the oil filled shocks and uh, that stuff on there and uh, I was going to start on the front and include that in the episode but I lost two of the little c-clips for the uh, front oil filled shocks and they go up here and I happened to find a couple in my stash that uh, were from Traxxas parts so uh, those will work so now uh, I've already taken the liberty to uh, get the tie rods set to the correct uh, size I actually nailed the big one the first try without even uh, looking at my uh, machinist scale there and I all already uh, put the battery holder uh, side nerf bar thingy on here um, this is a pretty neat little setup it just pops up and slides out and slides back in and pops back in and then there's a little uh, body pin that goes through there they uh, want you to put a little foam up here for the battery and so I did that and uh, so now we're going to move on to this part here, which is step 15, and that's assembling all of this. And so I will bring you back when I've got that done. All right. A few screws later, and that part's done. And uh, starting to look like a uh, chassis now. Getting, uh, getting all the next parts uh, ready. Uh, got the uh, parts tree out for the A-arms and all that, and I'll start getting that cut out. All right, guys, got uh, the A-arms pre-assembled now with the spindles on them and uh, the shocks. And uh, on the shocks, I didn't use the hardware, of course, that came with Tamiya stuff. I used uh, some of uh, my hardware stash over here with uh, Nylox, and that should keep them in there. Plus, Nylox look kind of cool, they look fancy. Um, so now, uh, I know they wanted you to put it all together here without putting the shocks on and then put the shocks on, but that would be kind of a pain trying to, uh, get in there. So this is how I'm going to do it. And, uh, you know, you don't have to follow the directions exactly, right? <laughs> Guess we'll see. Hey guys, look, I didn't lose the Eclipse. Got him in there. Got the little o-ring underneath of them uh i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with that it only took me about five tries each one <laughs> but it works and uh these shocks i think will work really good all right so as you can see we've got uh, the front su suspension all together we've got the rear suspension all together and uh it really looks like a truck now and so the last thing I have to do here is uh, put the uh, front bumper on and uh, we'll pretty much be done with it all right guys we have one finished chassis got all the good parts on it Working suspension, front and rear. I said that backwards, but you know what I meant. And uh, got the electronics in there. And so we are calling this an episode. And next time you see this thing, it'll have uh, some wheels that I'm waiting for. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully the rolling thunder body. If not, we'll have the lunchbox body on there. Uh, held up and everything and ready to go and uh, yeah so anyway speaking of the bodies I'm gonna take you over and show you the bodies
before I show you the bodies, I wanted to show you this. This is the uh, four light light bar that's going on uh, the roof of Rolling Thunder. And uh, it's not exactly like the one that was in, uh, uh, that was on the real truck, but uh, it's pretty close. And so having that will be kind of cool. All right, so here we got Rolling Thunder in all of its glory. Uh, as I said, we're waiting for the uh, the decal kit to come in for that, and uh, then it'll be ready to go. Yeah, there's a couple little hoopty doos in the paint, whatever. I painted it outside, so you gotta kind of expect that. It's not like I'm in a paint booth or anything. And then here is the lunchbox body. And one thing I'd noticed uh, after I laid the clear first coat of clear on it, if I had had noticed before I would have taken care of it but there's a little spatter of orange right here and there's a little bit of overspray orange on the roof whatever uh, it's gonna roll over on its roof and get scratched anyway right and uh, so each of these got uh, about three quarters of a can of clear on them and uh, then we'll put the decals on so anyway thanks for watching guys next time you see this uh, either one of these bodies uh, they should have decals on them and uh, be on the truck so uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and have a great day